Hi, for this recording, I'm, show, I'm going to show you how to determine the Taylor polynomial of degree 3, t3x. For the function f of x equals sine 3x at the point x equal to pi over 6. And later on, I'll show you how this t3x approximates the function f of x between 0 0.02 on the interval pi over 6 to pi over 4. Okay, to, to systematically determine the solution, this is what I do. I set up two columns. So I write f of x equals sine 3x first. Now, we are going to find the left polynomial at the point pi over 6. So you put x equals pi over 6 first. So you get f of pi over 6 equals sine of pi over 2, which is 1. Okay, so then afterwards, then we're going to find out f of f prime. Now differentiate sine 3x of 3 cosine 3x. So then put x equal to pi over 6 inside there. Get f prime of pi over 6 with 3 cosine pi over 2 which is 0. Then differentiate one more time. Now differentiate 3 cosine 3x to get minus 9 sine 3x. So put x equal to pi over 6 inside there. You get minus 9. And then you differentiate one more time. Since we are looking for Taylor polynomial degree 3, all the 3, so you put x equal to differential one more time, you get differential sine 3x, you get 3 cosine 3x multiplied with minus 9, you get minus 27 cosine 3x. Put x equal to pi over 6, you get f triple prime at pi over 6 equals 0. Then you recall what is the Taylor polynomial of degree 3. You can see this in David Brandon text. Say a polar polynomial degree 3 has something like this. If the center is pi over 6, is 3x is equal to f of pi over 6 plus f prime of pi over 6 times x minus pi over 6 plus f double prime of pi over 6 over 2 factorial times x minus pi over 6 square and plus x triple prime of pi over 6 divided by 3 factorial times x minus pi over 6 cubed. Substitute the value we obtained earlier. We know that this thing, the first f of pi over 6 is 1, f prime of pi over 6 is 0, f double prime of pi over 6 is minus 9, f triple prime of pi over 6 is 0. Now putting this all together, then we get the Taylor polynomial of degree 3 is 1 minus 9 over 2 times x minus pi over 6 squared. Okay, we are ready to estimate the error. And we want to refer to David Brandon text, page 320, which says that f of x is equal to t3 of x plus r3 of x, where r3 of x is a remainder term or error term. And what is this error term? This error term is r3x equal to differentiate f fourth time at the point c divided by 4 factorial times x minus pi over 6 raised to the power 4, where c is the point between pi over 6 and pi over 4. Now, and how to estimate f for c now? You can know, differentiate f 3 times, you get 20, minus 27 cosine 3x. So you differentiate one more time, as differentiate cosine 3x is minus 3 sine 3x. So differentiate f fourth time, you get 81 sine 3x. So now we are going to uh, estimate what is what are they now? Okay, first of all, for x between pi over 6 and pi over 4, differentiate f fourth x fourth time, magnitude is less than 81. This is because sine 3x is always less than absolute value is less than 1. So if you multiply by 81, you know the absolute value of sine 3 is less than 81 and so this means that the this means that the magnitude the absolute value of f differential f4 times x here will be less than or equal to 81. Now this is useful because then we are ready to estimate the the Term, that means we are ready to estimate this term now. That means 
how much is this term? Right? The F4C, we know this is less than 81. Now, next, we're going to estimate the x minus pi over 6 raised to the power of 4. For x between pi over 6 and power of pi over 4, we know that f x minus pi over 6 power 4 is less than or equal to pi over 6 minus pi over 4 raised to the power of 4, the most. And this is equal to pi over 12 raised to the power of 4. This has estimate years. So putting all these things together, then you know that R3 of x, all right, R3 of x in this case, the remainder, absolute value, is less than or equal to the magnitude of F4C over 4 factorial x minus pi over 6 raised to the power of 4, absolute value. And making use of the result, we know this thing is less than 81. The first term, this, this, this term is less than 81. And the second term, right, first term here is less than 81 based on this information. And the second term is less than pi over 12 to the power of 4. So put these things together. This is how we got this. The pi over 4 is power 12 and 81 for the first term. And there's the fourth factorial. And this will give you the absolute value of R3x. We know it's less than these two number. This three must multiply together. And we find that after that multiplying, we find this number is less than 0 0.02. And so on x between pi over 6 and pi over 4. So that's why we can conclude that T3x approximate f of x to begin 0 0.02 on pi over 6 to pi over 4. Right. So let's look at the working. The key thing is the remainder term. Okay. The remainder term. If we raise again, so we'll let you see the remainder term. Okay. So this is the end of this recording. Okay. Finally. Let me show you how to use class pet to find the Taylor polynomial of y equals sine three x at pi over six up to order three. So I'm going to use the class pet and go interactive. Then advance, click Taylor. Then I input the expression. In this case, is sine of three x. So I'm going to use the trigo function sine of three times x. Close the bracket. The variable is x. Although I want to up to order 3, the point I'm interested is pi over 6. So I use pi divided by 6. Then I click OK. So you tell me that the polynomial is 1 plus minus 9 over 2 times x minus pi over 6 squared, as we compute earlier. This will end the recording.